Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison the Online Piano and the Online Violin Cheater. Now today is somewhat of an impromptu video and I wanted to talk to you about transcribing or music transcribing. What is it and why musicians hate doing it so much? And I'm gonna show you how I, I do transcribing. So um, I haven't quite worked out the logistics of this video yet, but I guess I'm just gonna talk to you about how I do it um, and screenshot or screen record um, what I'm doing on, on my computer at the same time and kind of put the two together so you can see how it's done. Now, transcribing is just basically writing out music from scratch. So someone's composed a song or, or, or whatever it is and someone has to write that down into sheet music. And how do you do that? Well, you listen to how the rhythm is and, and what the notes are and you literally put it down note for note into some sort of sheet music form. And I would probably say that arguably it's one of the most complex and complicated things that a musician can do, aside from playing something really, really difficult on their own instrument, obviously that's a given, but in terms of musicality, it requires quite a high level of musical skill. You need to have been playing quite a while um, and definitely have the hang of, of music in, generally, in general to be able to transcribe music. It is, it's, it's very, very difficult to do um, and mostly it's just really, really time consuming. So a lot of musicians can do it, but like me, we don't like doing it because it is so damn time consuming. And I think from a consumer point of view, maybe you guys watching this, it's, it's very difficult to understand why it's so complicated because I know that a lot of people often ask me, can you write out this piece of sheet music? I can't find sheet music anywhere on the internet. So I'll go and look to see if I can find any sheet music. Uh, to do an arrangement of or whatever it is I'm being asked to do, there's no sheet music. So it means I then have to pull up the video or the, the, the music video or whatever on YouTube and listen note for note and write that down. And some people seem to think that because I've been doing music for a really long time or not just me in general, but any kind of musician in general, because we've been doing it for a really, really long time, it's a five minute job. I wish it was a five minute job. It's it's maybe five minutes to write down two or three notes or five minutes to get one bar or one measure done out of a four minute song. So even though it is easy for me to do and other musicians in that we can do it, it still takes so long because it's just, it's, it's note by note, and it's not just note by note, it's putting all of those notes into a rhythm. So you might have worked out the first two or three notes, but then you've got to work out what rhythm that's in, and then you've got to divide your measures or divide your bars into whatever the time signature is, four, four, three, four, and you know m meticulously work out what those rhythms are. I'm gonna go into that in just a second. I've chosen a song, uh, it's Z Katy Perry 365. It, <laughs> Don't question the Katy Perry. I just, it's just, I just wanted to pick a song that just had a straightforward melody, just so it'd be easier for me to 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 talk to you about how to transcribe it. And I'm literally about to do that now, so I'll go into detail about how I do it and what it is. But that's basically what music transcribing is. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is talk to you about how I'm doing this, and I'm going to screenshot everything I'm doing, just so you can see a little bit about you know, how it's done. And I'm only gonna do <laughs> a few bars or a few measures because otherwise this video would be monstrously long and I don't need to, to do the whole piece. So I've chosen Z, Katy Perry 365, just because, you know, whatever reason. Okay, so let's just get on with it. Here is how I transcribe music. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out what time signature we're in. So if I go to, so I'm using Sibelius and I've just selected that I want violin. Now I just need to check the time signature. I think from the first little bit that I heard it was in 4-4, four, four, but let's just check. Okay, so that's in 4-4. Four, four. So I think what I'm going to do is just close that. Okay, so it is in 4-4, four, four. so let's leave it as 4-4, four, four. and uh, we just need to work out what key it's in. Now, I think it's going to be in D minor. Okay, so we're all set up and ready to go. I've just moved the windows around a little bit just so uh, it's just a lot clearer here. Now, let's start from the beginning. 
Okay, so I'm going to say there's a there's a bars rest or there's a measures rest, and then we're going to start playing here. So let's go back and listen to that again. So da 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 da. If I've got that right. So one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. So what I'm doing here is that I've got, <laughs> and this is where it kind of just gets a little bit kind of, you know, fingery going on here. I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, e, four, all. So I've, I've always got four in my head here, and I'm gonna be doing one, two, three, e, four, all. So I think they're just gonna be straight quavers, I think here, or, um, quarter notes are we thinking here I, I can't think now so uh we've got da, 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 da. so that's the first measure done now we have to go and listen to the rest of it so that was pretty straightforward Actually, that isn't quite right. What I what I would generally tend to do is is get the rhythm near enough, uh, and, and maybe maybe get sort of three four measures or three four bars into this, and then I'll just go back and check my notes because once you've got the rhythm in, the notes are kind of fairly easy to to kind of negotiate around. But you've got your rhythm and you've got your notes, and you've got two almost separate entities. But as long as you've kind of got your rhythm, the notes are easy to sort of alter after that. So. The other thing I would probably mention that it would be much easier if you could download this so you're not actually having to sort of rewind this live on the internet. I probably would do that, but for the purpose of this video, I haven't because that involves a lot more button pushings and program openings and things like that. Let's just go back a bit. So we've got... Waking up next to you in the, and then we need middle of the week. So I'll rewind it back again. Middle of the week, middle of the week. Okay, so what I'm doing here is dividing the bar into eights. So you've got four, but it's quite a slow four, and I know that it's all moving in in quaves or quarter notes. So da 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 da. But because I'm moving in those quavers or those quarter, or those, sorry, those eighth notes, they're not quarter notes, they're eighth notes. I apologise for all of you screaming at me at the screen. The eighth notes, I'm terribly sorry. I'm in the UK, so we don't, we, we use crotchet quaver, that kind of thing. So eighth notes. So I'm going to divide the bar into eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know that my last note is da, 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 da five, six, seven, eight. So my last note is lasting for four eighth notes or four quavers. So can you see how it's easy to divide the bar? Um, so we've got da, 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 A, G, F, uh, and then a D for two beats. So I think we've got Sounds about right. Let's just play that again. Okay, so I would say that those next two measures are pretty much the same, except at the end, it's not. So we'll just copy and paste those two bars in. Now, what does she sing at the end where it changed? Was that right? Okay. Da 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 da. Right. 
So now my fingers are now in eighth notes or quavers. Da 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 da. So that one, the sixth one, had two notes in it. So if all of my fingers and our quavers are eighth notes, these are now sixteenth notes or semiquavers. So this one, number six, da 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 da. Da, da, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So if you want to count it that way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Da, 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 da. So Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, sorry. I've I've just made a mistake in here. So that would be a quaver. Okay, so we can play that now. Boom. Do a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so the first note is one, two, three, four, five. The first note on the next on measure six lasts for five eighth notes or five quavers. So what is five what is five quavers? Um do 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 Oh sorry I've just lost Okay, so that to me is going to translate to five quavers, that D. So five quavers would be a minim or um, a half a beat note attached to the fifth quaver, because there's no other way of doing that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So six and means you've got two, qua two semi quavers or two sixteenth notes going in there, which is going to translate to one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. And then I think the same thing repeated again. So I can just copy and paste that measure in. We can just play that. Which is pretty much what she's got here. Okay, so that wasn't quite right there. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so it's the first part I've just missed out a note there. Okay, so that is just slightly wrong there. We've got one, two. Uh, Send me off to sleep, and I know I said go slow, but I can't hold back no more. Da 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 da. One, two, three, four. Um, and I know I said set ed go slow. So set ed is two eighth notes, 
go slow is so is said is worth two eighth note eighth notes so it's a quarter note or a crotchet uh, go slow is then two eighth notes or two quavers so let me just play that back to make sure I've got the right rhythm. Do you see what I mean? So it's it's not like I can't get it right or I'm making mistakes. Sometimes, you know, you, you've just got to hear something again and again. I'm not, I, I this is the first time I've actually heard this song, so I'm not familiar with this song anyway. But this would be very representative if I was actually writing out a song for someone or if someone had commissioned me to transcribe this song. I wouldn't necess necessarily know the songs I'm going to be transcribing. So... You know, even for me, I'm not just going to be getting it first time. And like I say, this isn't something I do all day, every day. So maybe I would be a little bit quicker at doing it. But it would still be the same process. Perhaps, you know, the process, the whole process would be quicker. So, you know, you, you can see, I, I don't know where we are in the video. I think looking on this, I'll probably cut some anyway. But we're up to about 20 odd minutes now. And we're on measure seven with actually only six of those being written in. So it's taken me... 20 minutes or may maybe 15 minutes taking off the five minutes of, of talking in this uh, just to get as far as we have and some of that was repeats anyway so hopefully you can kind of start to see why this is such a, a lengthy process if anything so I just want to check what I've just done there ah so I think there should be a tie there Anyone to send me off to sleep And I know I said go slow But I can't hold back no more Okay, so I just need to repeat That is right Then I just need to repeat that on there uh, And I know I said go slow But I can't hold back no more uh, And then I actually don't know Whether that next bar is the same as that to send me off to sleep And I know I said go slow So the last note there is going to be that, I think. No more back, no more. And then maybe it goes into a, a repeat, maybe. Okay, so the, the next little bit just repeats, so I would repeat that. But basically, guys, this is the process of transcribing, and I hope that you can understand how, how I do it. This is kind of a little bit of a twofold video. I wanted to show you how I did transcribing, and I know I've kind of really only shown you a, a, a little bit, but I mean, essentially, that is how I transcribe. It's very difficult to go any more into detail about how to do it because. I think I'd have to probably show you lots and lots and lots of different examples and lots of different ways of working it out. But suffice to say, if you want to go ahead and do some transcribing yourself, you've got to be very, very good with rhythm. So you've, uh, if you're looking at a 4-4 rhythm, which you've got here, then you need to work out how to divide your bar. And I would mostly count, I wouldn't count in 4 for this one because it's moving Da, 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 da. So there's too many notes per four and it's a little bit difficult to work out. So what I would do is count count in eight, count in eighth notes or count in quavers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can hear the last note was five, six, seven, eight, lasting for one, two, three, four quavers or four eighth notes. So therefore you've got to translate that into a note and therefore it makes it easier to, to do the transcribing, or well, that is actually how you, how you do the transcribing. So it's not overly difficult to do. Something like this would be actually pretty straightforward. I don't think this would take me terribly long, but it would still take me a very, very long time to do. And like I say, I'm not even, I haven't even got like the first, first verse. I'm like 23 seconds into the video and we are seven bars or seven measures in so there we go that is a little bit about transcribing music why we hate to do it and why it takes so 
so damn long to transcribe music. Hope this video has been helpful. I mean, if you want to see more videos like this or you want to see me do a little bit more of transcribing, let me know. Or, you know, if you don't want to see any more of this, let me know as well. But I hope it's been helpful and I hope now you understand why transcribing just takes as long as it does. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.